OK, so last up is now that we've identified how many programs to apply to, well, then you got to pick what programs you're going to apply to. Now, this is where we, uh, we use the residencyexplorer.org tool. This is a really fantastic tool. So back when you applied to medical school, you probably remember working with the MSAR, whether it was a book or it was a digital copy. This is how you got all the details, the information on the schools you applied to. Now, this didn't actually exist until just a few years ago for residency, and it's a fantastic tool, really shed some light on the whole residency application process. So you can actually drill down and go look at all the programs that are submitting data, and you can find some specifics. So there's a couple important things to know about this before you get started is that the AAMC uh, requires you to register for this and you can only enter three sets of data. So you can't just go in here and play around with, you know, 10 different specialties, play around with 10 different scores that you might get on your USMLEs or Comlex scores. You really need to come to this tool with the data in hand. It'll lock you out after three. So don't go playing around with it too much and then you lose your chance. But you basically go put in your, uh, your data in a, in the uh, in the place where you update your profile, and then you can you can take a look at a specialty. So I got family medicine pulled up right here. You can see all 695 programs here. You can kind of isolate these by state. You can isolate them by region or zip, or you can place you know a zip code on here and then look at how far and draw concentric circles around an ideal location if you want. But bottom line is that it's going to give you all the programs here. And then this is important is that it's got my data in here for step one, step two, publications. And then you hover over these and it's going to tell you, okay, you're middle 50% of applicants at this program, or you're the lower 25th percent, et cetera. It'll kind of give you the information. Super important for US uh, DOs or for IMGs is that it's going to tell you up front the percent that were USMDs. So look, we're looking at Kaiser Permanente Washington, for example, in Seattle. They're all MDs that match here. So if you're a DO, if you're an IMG, again, you probably don't want to utilize this program. You can sort these too, and so that you can take a look at programs and kind of isolate them for your specific needs. Uh, so for example, okay, like this program in Alabama has only got 46% USMDs. You can actually drill down and open this page up, and it's going to give you a ton of granular information so that you can actually see, well, how many were IMGs, how many were MDs. This is the like the central location to explore programs. It's got all the contact information. Uh, so if you want to reach out to the programs, it's got the ACGME program code for reference. And it's going to give you tons and tons of data here. Now, I'm not going to go through each piece, but I'm going to just scroll down here and show you, look, this, this is incredible. It's a fantastic resource. And it basically puts at your fingertips every piece of information that you're going to need to know to study each program. So. One by one, you're going to want to go through these programs to understand what's a good fit for you, you know, demographically, competitively speaking, as well as maybe something that uh, resonates with you in particular. So it is hard to overemphasize how important this Residency Explorer tool is. Um, go check it out. Go use it. It's, it's kind of the core of understanding which programs to apply to and why.